Hi everyone, welcome to Science This Week. Today is Monday. So today, I just have on this little fun little sweater thing. Today we are going to be making binoculars. I have my pumpkin spice coffee here. But apart from that, today we are going to be making binoculars. So I wanna make sure that everyone has their supplies before we begin. So I am going to be using a paper towel roll, but you can use two toilet paper rolls. So whichever works best for you. So I'm gonna be using my paper towel roll. And if you have the paper towel roll, you'll need the scissors to cut it in half. If you're using two toilet paper rolls, then you need, you can skip this step with the scissors. You can use string or ribbon. I'm going to be using ribbon, but you can use string. That works too. Some tape. And I will be using paint to... Um, color my binoculars, but you can use markers, crayons, whatever works best for you so that you can make your binoculars your own. We're ready to begin. So if you have all of your materials, let's get started. So I will be using the paper towel roll. If you have your two toilet paper rolls, you're good. But if you're like me and you have your paper towel roll, there's an extra step we have to do. So we're going to be taking our scissors and we're going to cut in the middle so that we have two rolls. So hopefully I cut it in the middle. I'm kind of scared. Wow, I did pretty good. <laughs> okay, so now if you have your two rolls with you, we're ready to begin. So the first step is to be as creative as possible. So we're gonna decorate them first. So you can have your string put away and your tape put away. We won't be using that just yet. We are going to be decorating. So if you have your markers or your crayons or your paint, that is our first step. So I'm going to be using paints, but you can use whatever works best for you. So if you like crayons, you can use crayon. If you want to use markers, you can use markers, whatever works best for you. But I really love painting. So let's see. I think I want pink on mine. You can do whatever you want on yours. And right now is the perfect time to start coloring. I'm doing it with you so we can do it together, taking our time. I'm gonna use blue. Make sure if you're using paint that you're being nice and neat because we are painting in our family's house or wherever you are and you don't want to make such a big mess. Maybe using orange. I think now is a perfect time to put on some music and start working. You can color it however you want. I think I'm going to try to make mine rainbow, but if you want to do yours, green all green if you want to do some pictures of you and your family it's up to you this is your perfect time to have some fun with your binoculars i'm going to stop talking now and let's get right into it and you'll hear some music just follow along make it as you go we'll be making our binoculars together
stop. Okay, so I have my two rolls colored. Since I used paint, I have to leave them to dry. So I'm going to leave them to dry. If you also need to keep on coloring, keep on or waiting for your paper towel rolls or toilet paper rolls to dry, just pause the video here. And once you're ready, you can come back and hit play and we'll keep going with our craft today. Hello, welcome back. So my binoculars, my rolls, are dry, so it's now time to make our binoculars. So if you want to take some tape, that's our next step. I am going to walk you through how we are going to tape them. So if you look, there's, put, if you put them together, you'll see that there's two holes next to each other. I want you to take the tape, put it inside of one, and fold it over and put it in the other one. So as you can see, I have tape here and tape here, and I fold it out over. I'm gonna turn my binoculars around, and I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. My tape. And put it inside. So now I have two sides that have tape. Okay. So now they're stuck together. I'm gonna give a few moments so everyone has their binoculars stuck together. I'm gonna take a sip of my drink. Okay, we should be ready. So I want you to take your string, your ribbon, your yarn, anything you have, and make sure you measure it. Put it around, your mom and dad can help you, put it around your body like this, your neck like this, because you want to carry your binoculars around you. So once you have how long you want it, take your scissors, and cut. And we're going to take our tape. So I'm going to take my tape and put it at the end of my ribbon or your yarn or whichever and I'm going to stick it inside. So I have one end inside stuck. Now I'm gonna take my other end and my tape. And I'm gonna put it at the end, just like I did the other one. And I'm gonna stick it inside. And now our binoculars are ready. You can wear it around your neck. And that is your binoculars. You can look through them, watch the earth around you, and have some fun. So tomorrow we are going to be going on a nature walk. So if you want to have your binoculars ready so that when you're watching my video tomorrow, you can be in character. I hope we have an amazing Monday and I'll see you tomorrow for Tuesday's lesson, Tuesday science lesson. Bye everyone. I just wanted to add in that if you want to post your picture so you can show your teachers that you did your um, binocular arts and crafts, please do post it for them to see so that they can see that you did your binoculars and they'll love it. They'll be super excited to see all the hard work you put into them. I'll see you guys tomorrow for our nature walk. Bye!